Look at that big old Detroit in there. Yes, sir. Hey folks, welcome to the first part of a however many part project series we need this to be. So I have spun the motor over on this truck. It has a, I think an 8B53 Detroit um, up under there. And where's it 51? I don't know, it's that series of Detroit. And uh, this is a Crane Carrier Corporation truck with a Century cab on it. So it's kind of funky looking. But you know, this truck is, I believe, an all wheel drive truck. Yes, it is. It's an all wheel drive truck. Tandem axle in the back. This would make quite the manure truck. So I spun the motor over, puffed a little smoke out of it, but. I didn't want it to start, so I didn't really try all that hard on it. So, we're going to lift the cab up so we can get a better look at the motor. And thanks for watching along. Well, folks, got the cab up. Let's see what else we can get into. Well, I came with a dead gator, so I got the ghetto gator up here, charging that other gator up. Which is unfortunate because I wanted to use the box and stuff on that gator, but it's whatever. But, all right, we got the valve cover off on the old Detroit up here. Um, there is four stuck valves. Not stuck valves. Stuck injectors. And thanks to the old two-stroker on YouTube, I know, how to, I know how to take that little contraption apart right there in order to get it apart. So... I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride for at least one of them to see how it goes. Sorry about that background noise over there, that gator charging, but it is what it is. So. Yes, there we go.
Okay, injector number one freed up. I like it. Okay. Right, that was actually pretty easy. You know, I probably have that PB Blaster can right in front of your view all the time. It's probably good for it, but good for the old views. I work in After Dark's really good for it too. I'm sure you can see a lot with this bright light I have on. Well, folks, injector number one freed up. Got everything back to the way it should be. Hopefully you could see most of that. I have three more to do. I'm going to do them off camera because it's the same process. Hopefully you saw what was going on here. Um, yeah, but she's all freed up now. I can, I can push it down, up and down, up and down. That's good. That's exactly the way that old two-stroker showed it to be. So, all right. One down, three to go. Well, everybody, really good news here. We have got a free rack. The rack is freed up. Heck yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's get to it. All right, folks, we're going to give her a whirl here and see if she'll cheech. I don't have any ether, so we're just going to see if it'll pull some fuel and cheech you up. But maybe not. Maybe she will. Who knows? I don't know, but you're going to be here to see it. So in order to get this truck in a movable condition, we have to replace this coolant line because when this thing's running, it's just blowing coolant all over the place. So right now, you guys didn't get to see me fix that coolant line, but I got it fixed because I was up under there and my phone fell down. So I was like, ask for it. You're just going to stay down there. So, oh well.
you're staying there. You're coming off. You're coming off. I have to flop this around. Wiring it back up to 12 volt because I had it on 24 to spin the starter over better. But now I'd kind of like to hook up the cab. And I think that these two little hook ins here are what turn the cab on. There's two little eye hooks. So got back up to 12 volt, back down to 12 volt now. And we'll see if it'll still spin it over and start it, and maybe the cab will turn on. I don't know. Well, got a new starter solenoid thing that goes to the actual starter solenoid. It's like a relay, but it's really called a solenoid because this one had a bad uh, had a bad post on it right there. So we got her done. Uh, she starts with a key, and she stops with a key. So that's pretty darn cool if you ask me. Uh, oil pressure, everything looks okay, uh, in the cab and everything, and here, oil's all okay, uh, yeah, next stop is gonna be putting the cab down and seeing if she'll move, I also gotta put the air cleaner thing back together, but, yeah, it's looking good, looking good, folks. Hey folks, thank you for watching along. I had a ton of fun making this video, getting the crane carrier started. You're gonna have to stick around for Saturday night's video, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. It'll be uploaded. We're gonna see if the crane carrier will get out of her hole on her own. So you're gonna have to stick around. Appreciate you watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and eat your dairy products. Have a good day.